Today, I'm very excited to share with you our status update on the IPv6 Integrated Research Project. Uh, first, I want to thank Aaron for their generous financial support. And also, I would like to thank NIST for their generous programmatic support. So, uh, Doug and his team have been uh, crucial in getting this far with the project. Our long-term goals have always been to be able to uh, establish uh, enterprise adoption behavior, which gives us a, an option to measure uh, success of our strategies. Once we, when we uh, apply these uh, strategies for increasing a enterprise adoption, we'd like to be able to measure it. And it's also repeatable. We'd like to have something that's hosted and we can uh, take these measurement snapshots on a regular basis. The data integration when we first started was to integrate the NIST monitor data with Aaron's uh, V6 acquisition data. Uh, we did go ahead and integrate BGP data as well, and so that resulted in the integrated flat file that we have uh, at this point. Data integrity. Um, this one was a was a big one. Um, obviously, it's the most important for any analysis. So. Um, the biggest challenge we had was the data reconciliation. The NIST monitor had been, uh, you know, it's deployed over 10 years ago. And in that time, uh, there had been many, many intervening business events, which impacted the uh, org, Aaron's org ID to the entity, the domain name. Um, so we had a lot of M&A activity, dissolutions, rebranding and repurposed domains that um, affected what which org ID we would be using at this point to do the correct measurements. So when we filtered through our data, we started with the Alexa 1000, the version of it was active when NIST deployed the monitor, which is, as I mentioned, over a decade ago. Um, we did get to 727 enterprises, which we cut off at .com. So that's probably an imperfect cutoff, but that's the cutoff that we did use. We did find that 78 had no detectable V6 activity. That means no address acquisition and no service turn up that, that appeared in the NIST monitor. That left us with 649 detectable uh, I, um, enterprises that had detectable V6 activity. So what we find was um, <laughs> not surprising, but still disappointing. So in terms of uh, address acquisition directly from Aaron, um, you can see the numbers from the, again, drawing from that original Alexa 1000 list as it was filtered, uh, 176 of them had acquired uh, addresses directly from from Aaron. Um, the V6 service counts, that's the whole pool of 649, but this is inclusive of positive and negative um, V6 activity. And by that, I mean that some of the DNS mail and web date, those, some of those date counts showed that the that those services were turned up prior to air and address activity. And of course, there are multiple reasons why that can happen. But for the purposes of this graph, uh, we did count all detectable V6 activity. Um, what we did find was that there was an increased ratio since there have been so many business events. Obviously, the NIST monitor started out with a one-to-one -one entity to org ID relationship. And then um, when we did the snapshot, um, and the analysis, it was 1.1 to 1. Uh, the most impacted industries were banking and technology. Banking, um, that was interesting because it seemed to coincide with the 2008 housing crisis. So it was almost like we had a window into business and some of the cultural events through this data. Um, and again, I mentioned that there are some of them were, uh, did show negative days between service enablement and address allocation dates. Um, and you know, obviously that's gonna be cloud or carrier allocations uh, that um, were, not rel uh, were not readily uh, discernible in the data. Uh, the next steps is to incorporate the DNS data. We're hoping that that will um, resolve some of the negative uh, dates that we've seen. Um, and we'd also like to move forward with, with defining a hosting and updating strategy. Again, we'd like this to be a measure of our enterprise adoption strategies, and uh, we would like this to be hosted. And of course, we'll be doing some continuing on the socialization of the, of the results. Thank you again. And I, again, thank you to Aaron and NIST for your amazing support, and we'll be continuing the work.